my career is not an accident. Better than us, depending on where you're from and what you've been through. What's up, this is Troy Carter and you're watching The God Show. I'm a facilitator of dreams. I am not here to take you to your dream. Dim joints and focus. Oh, I'm focusing dim joints. What? 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 Yo, this is Big U. I just finished The God Show. What up, this Red Push, man. You're not tuned in with The God, God Show. Just poking the bell. Oh, oh that is hold on, hold on. That that that, that's, that's, my, that's my famous turn. He, he's the master investor. Ian Dunlap, let's go. The roller coaster go up and it come down. A lot of them ain't prepared for it to go down. What y'all need to do, what you need to do, is tune into The God Show tonight. What show? I grew up super, super loved. Yes. You know, um, single mom. My dad spent 12 and a half years in jail for murder. Mm. So I grew up height of JBM in Philly, right around the corner from my, you know, from my Junior Black from my Mafia, house. right? Jun yeah. Junior Black Mafia. I only Mafia. know that from Will Smith's book. I yeah, know Junior that. Black yeah. Mafia. That's like, yeah. that's our, our, our neighborhood. And so when 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 you know how when you know you learn how fragile life is yes. very 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 early yes and you learn and you learn how to appreciate your electricity being on yeah mm -hmm. you learn how to appreciate when you got hot water running through your through the pipes in your house yes you learn like when you got like food in the refrigerator and you know um I laugh at my kids, like, they panic if it's not milk in there. I'm like, put water in there, like I used to, right? In the series. Like, they said, you put water in your cereal? I said, listen. Hey, bro, you know I said, I, I know how to make everything. I, anything that's in that cabinet right now, I could, I could turn into food. Right? <laughs> so, right. But, you know, when you, so, but when, you grow, when you grow up that way, you, learn, you get a high level of, of real appreciation yeah. for moments in your life. And I've been through highs. I've been through lows. I've I've I made a lot of money. I lo I lost a lot of money. Yep. And um and when I remember when um I gone through a really really tough time in my career and I got ghosted by yeah. so many people. Yeah. People who like when I was hot, yeah. I could get on the phone in period twenty seconds, right? Yep. I didn't even like I could think about them and they yeah. and they call it me, right? <laughs> and then all of a sudden I'm down and like I got ghosted and I was so hurt, like just as a human being. Yes. That like cause I had never gone through depression before. Yeah. And so literally being depressed, not wanting to get out of bed in the morning. And I'm yeah. a motivated person. Yeah. I feel like I'm yeah. a positive person. And no, and it was very few people that were there for me. And you know, Vincent Herbert, who who yes. who we both know, Vince showed up for me big time. Um, Will and JL gave me a little office. That, you know, my office had gotten shut down, so they gave me some space to work out of in their office. And in my mind, like I'm like, I never want to feel like this again. Yeah. But I don't want anybody else. I don't want. I, I don't want anybody to feel like I made them feel like that. Yeah. You know what I'm yes. saying? Yes. And we may not. We may not um, do it consciously to people, but I wanted to be intentional about how open I am to people. Yes. And how if I know somebody's down, that I'm gonna make sure. I'm calling somebody. I'm checking in on people. I'm, yeah. I'm checking in on people's family. Yeah. I'm checking in on people's mental health. Yes. You know, like all of those things. And like, so for me, especially like with a lot of, um, a lot of young black executives is a different, is a different path. Yeah. And what I, what I see is we don't advocate, we don't advocate for ourselves in corporate environments. Nope. And we a lot of times we don't know, um, we don't recognize our self value. Yep. And um, and you got a lot of I, what I what I've seen is a lot of other races come in with a lot of confidence. Yeah. And we put. I'm I'm super careful 
about how I talk to my kids. Mm. Like, I never, I never tell my kids you don't belong at the adult table. Yes, I never mm-hmm. tell them that. I don't never, I don't talk that. You only speak when you're spoken to nope. stuff. I want my, I put, I want my kids to have an opinion. I put a battery in their back. Yes. I have adult conversations with them. Yes. Like, it, and like, it is like, even, even because what I, what is, is a thing where when we get to the, when we finally make it to the table, we still feel like we're at the kids table. We still feel, we still, bro, mm-hmm. man, I don't even want to, it's like, <laughs> I, I want you to just, don't, don't even stop, man. Cause I know that feeling, and I said this, I wrote something on Instagram, and I don't know if one of people heads, I said, every black person that ended up at the table, the big table, was made to feel like you're not like them. That's why you're lucky to be here. So you're, so you're on your best behavior. You almost are afraid to rock a boat, because you don't know. I'm like, I tell people- I'm I, like, rock, I rock boats. I'm, I do no, too now. No, right. t- that's what I, but that's what I want to yeah. say, like, because this, mm-hmm. is, this, is this is very, very, very important. It's the what I what I what I started to learn in terms of like um, and building my own self confidence was that wow I can do this on levels that anybody else can do this on yes if somebody gives me the opportunity to do it yes and if somebody doesn't give me the opportunity to do it. I got to figure out a way to make my own opportunity. Yes. And, and to show people that I can do it. And then that'll bring in more people yes. to allow me to do it. Yes. And yep. then when I, when I feel like I've added value, I want you to pay me for my value. Yes. Yep. Damn <laughs> Actually, right. I want you to pay me even more than you would pay somebody else. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because I, like, I want the premium. Yes. I, I want the you. premium. Period. So, so, and that's fair. And so I would, I, like, and when, so when, I started managing Gaga. It was sort of my first foray into pop music. And not only that, before he says, because I, I want to make sure that anybody listens. He, when he said he started managing Gaga, meaning they started together. I was there. Lady Gaga, I was there at one of Lady Gaga's first show where it was 40 people in the room and me and yeah. Devon Stevens pulled up. So you didn't start managing her as Gaga. You helped create the brand Gaga. I just got to say that because you <laughs> fucking did it and I saw it. Yeah. yeah. Well, we did it together. No, no, no. I, that's why I said you helped create it. <laughs> we, I'm not, we did it together. I, I would never dis. I would never disrespect an artist, but some people get lucky. Some people build. I saw you build that from the jump. I remember what, having an argument with Jimmy, and Jimmy was like, "Put Gaga on a song." We was like, "No, we want Gwen," and he was like, "Don't sleep on Gaga. She's gonna be big." So I was there from the beginning of Lady Gaga. Period. I just had to say that. Oh, she, you know, she, we, we definitely, you know, we signed her when she was, tw- when she was 20 mm. and, um, and she had just gotten dropped from Def Jam. And so, <laughs> and I, I, I was starting over from, you know, after working with Eve and, and us parting ways and like, I didn't have anything to lose. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she didn't have anything to lose, you know, uh, Vincent Herbert didn't have anything to lose. And, you know, um, mm-hmm. I always, my grandmother had that saying, um, you can't fall off the floor. You mm. know? Mm-hmm. So it's I like, love that. can't fall off the floor. So there's nowhere to go but up. Yes. But, you know, us, but she was the first pop artist I ever managed. Yeah. And so, you know, we spent a year just trying to get people to believe in her first song, Just Dance. And then after a year, started building and building, and and you know, eventually it just turned into this rocket ship. And I'm one of the only black managers managing um, a, a female pop star. Yep. You know, Matthew Knowles managed you know Destiny's Child, but that was that was it was his daughter. But it was also black and, it, yeah. and black, and it was his daughter. Because there is an undertone where when a white black person walks in managing a white act, people are trying to figure out how the hell did you get? So that? people thought I was the assistant. People thought I was a dancer. People thought like you know all of these things, everything yeah. but a manager, yeah. everything but a manager. Yeah, you know? exactly. And so you know, sort of navigating that world, and and and. To be able to build the level of success that that um, we were able to build with Gaga, it really showed me that 
I, I, I can play on this field. Yes. And, and you know, after, um, while I was managing Gaga, it, it exposed me, because we were experimenting with all of these new technologies, like YouTube was just yeah. coming out. Yeah. All, um, Twitter was just coming out. Mm -hmm. And so we're experimenting with all of these things, and that gave me exposure to the tech world. Yes. So now I'm going to meet with, like, these founders in Silicon Valley and talking to them and... I'm talking to them about culture, about music, about brand, about marketing. Yeah. And, and they're fascinated by this. Yeah. Because a, a lot of, uh, most of those guys, like, they're brilliant when it comes to engineering. Mm -hmm. But then they're thinking about, okay, how should I be looking at, at brand? Yeah. How should I be looking at marketing? Yeah. How mm -hmm. can I get, like, to, like, can I, can you introduce me to people in L.A. and in mm -hmm. the music business? So that exposed me to founders, and I when you, when I talk, you talk about being the only black guy in pop music. I was really one of probably three or four black guys in Silicon Valley. Yeah, and it's a different language. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of people talk about like I really, it's 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 a. When you can show value, mm -hmm. when you really can show value, color disappears. Man, mm -hmm. say that again. Color disappears. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm.